So I see, uh, Paul Carter, has that you're reading your book. Well, I've never, I don't, really, I never get a chance to look, look at it, you know. Yeah, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's occasionally, amazing. I mean, this book is what, 30 years old? Yeah. And occasionally I, I read excerpts of it because somebody's written an article yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah. And I said, wow, is that what I said? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this brother, this African brother, uh, because, um, you know, I, I, I live there, I know him very well. And he sent me a, a, a note. He says, um, well, through email, hey, brother. What's up, nigga? I hope the nigga word doesn't offend uh, offend my big brother. I'm a little older than he is. I have my own laptop now, and I'm able to utilize my account, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now he says, uh, please pass revolutionary greetings on to my sisters and brothers in the revolution. He's talking about American, you know, black people. I wrote him back. <laughs> I said, uh, I said, uh, hey, why? No, you cannot pass. Re I know. No, you cannot pass revolutionary, revolutionary greetings and be a nigger. Nigger, N I G G A, N I G G U H, which you, yeah, you right. said just from right. your from your era, and uh, N I G G E R. All are constructs derived and used by the Anglo racist white supremacist system devotees and internalized by many black folk. The effect is the effect of it of its use has is. Uh, or is has been to psychologically render Africans, especially in the diaspora, eternal victims. I don't use the term, and I say anyone who has lineage that does not go through the middle passes can ever use the term. Everybody in this day and age wants to use the term. Nobody wants to earn the stripes that branded the, uh, the subset of the downtrodden who are uh, burdened with its particular derogatory designation. No, you can't use the term ever. Yeah. Okay, now my, my question to you is well, 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 first of all, I agree with you entirely. I mean, you know, um, it, 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 is, uh, it, it is certainly uh, used uh, to, to keep one in place. I mean, if psychologically, it's a way of holding people to a particular um, position. Uh, it, 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 and, I, and of course, the young people say, well, what we're doing is um, uh, demystifying the term, and, and so we're giving it some sense of elevation. Make their own. In fact, in fact uh, Tupac came up with the N-I-G-G-A, and it was like uh, uh, something, something, something greatest grace. I mean, it's, a, it's a good acronym, but yeah. they immediately just yeah. discount that. Because there's something about that word that people like to use. In fact, everybody wants to own that word. Mm -hmm. What is it? That's why I'm asking you psychologically. Well, well, I, I mean, what I, I, I mean so who wants to own it? I guess it's the younger people who really want to own it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that most, most uh, I'm not talking about young black people. I'm talking about just, just, the whole, just or all over the planet. Like well, these no, Africans, no, they, no. they do the same thing. That, that's because it, the pop, popular culture is infectious. It's pernicious, actually. Popular culture has a way of catching the psyche without any information more than what's on the surface. And popular culture is totally pernicious kind of way of transmission of ideas, transmission of values, etc. There's no thought beyond what, what, they, what they glean from the very surfaces of no, the Everybody's reading the headlines. Nobody's reading the... No one reads, no. And so they have no sense of the history connected to it. And, but they know that it's a popular way of riffing. It's inside of the riff that makes sense. You don't have people talking about, how you doing, Bakra, my Bakra. You know, you don't get, I'm, hey, Bakra. You don't get that. I don't be. know what that is. What's well, see, Bakra is, 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 is what we call the cracker. Really? Yeah, the Bakra. The guy, the boss, the white boss of the, the southern tradition. Really? The slave tradition. The Bakra. Never the bakra. heard of yeah. it. Yeah, the Bakra. Black folks call them Bakra. Hey, Bakra. You know? So, um, I mean, my, my, uh, my uncle, uh, he used to go to work, and I said, where are you going? He says, well, I'm going to meet the Bakra. <laughs> you know, back when I was a kid. And so, uh, the, the, yeah, I, it's, I think the, that, that again, it, so much of what we are about in style and manner has been absorbed inside of popular culture. People all over the world have bought into it. Certainly the language, which is much more immediate because it's, you know, it's part of, I mean, look, I, I, have, a, I have a grandson. When he was about nine years old or 10 years old, he was in the car 
Listen to rap. And he was born and raised in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. My daughter is was born and raised in Amsterdam. And, and we were in the car, and he was he had his stuff on, his earphones on. This is about ten years ago. He, his guy, he was a Dutch black kid, mm -hmm. bopping around, and every now and then he just he said. Yeah, the motherfuckers, bap a tap, bap, nah, nah, niggas. So I, and I said, my mind stopped. I said, I said, why, why are you singing that in front of your mother like that, man? He said, what? You're talking about motherfuckers and niggas. Why are you singing that? And your mother is sitting right here, like that. I didn't say, I'm like, nah, what am I? I'm not saying it. I said, you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what are you then saying? Why are you saying it? <laughs> if you don't know what you're saying. He said, well, I just, you know, this is, the, this is when the song goes like that, you know. I said, that, that's a problem, son. And I said, I'm going to tell you something. When you come to New York, don't you call anybody a motherfucker. Don't call anybody that, but they'll kick your bottom, wear you up, because they don't know you don't know what you're talking about. Because there's a way of saying that, if they don't, you don't understand it, it's that particular word. You, got, you can inflect it four or five different ways and four or five different meanings. The omatopoeticness of it, which is basically what black language does, allows you these multi meanings out of one word. But that's one of those words. If you don't get the right riff on it, they know you, uh, you're going to offend somebody. Mm. You, know, you, you, know, you can say it one way to, to hold off danger, in another way to invite it because you don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, they don't understand. It's just part of the popular culture. You know, uh, he understands it now. He's, he's almost a man. Yeah.